Well, it is National Youth Violence Prevention Week, and City State's Attorney Marilyn Mosby is asking students what is the best way to prevent crime. WJZ is live. Amy Yancey was at the special forum and has more for us. Amy? Well, Mary, the teens tell WJZ they're absolutely tired of all of this violence, and they have some ideas on how to stop it. Students at Frederick Douglass High School say to stop violence in Baltimore, the city needs to invest in young people. Yeah, 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 so at a forum organized by City State's Attorney Marilyn Mosby. You got sometimes people that are teaching you some of the wrong stuff. Dozens of teenagers and community leaders discuss the need for change. We are only four months into the year. And guess how many people have been killed? 82. That's why Mosby is forming a new youth program to help keep teenagers out of the criminal justice system. What sets this initiative apart? Well, instead of the adults coming up with solutions, the teenagers are making suggestions on how to stop the violence. It's a good opportunity for us to actually get our word across. The peaceful discussion is a stark change from the notorious images of Douglas High students at the height of the unrest in 2015. The unrest doesn't define our city, right? And you know, at the end of the day, it's the history, it's the culture, it's the people that define Baltimore City. The students agree, saying the way to ensure they don't become statistics is for those in power to believe in them. We should have an opportunity, have more job opportunity, instead of them judging the book by its cover. And the top two requests that these teenagers had more jobs and recreation centers. Reporting live, Amy NC, back to you. Amy, thank you. So far in 2017, 82 people have been killed, more than 156 shot.